I'm not here for a pleasant afternoon's conversation. I have a mission now. Uh, I want you to know that God isn't personal. He's a force. And Jesus is not the Savior. I mean, he's just a more highly evolved uh, being than I am. I've heard about him. I haven't seen him yet, but he's on a higher plane. Uh, and on and on it goes. Uh, spirit survival. No, Dad, there's no judgment. Uh, God doesn't judge you. You don't face him in judgment. We just move into graduate school and we continue to learn our lessons, you know, and progress and so forth. All of the lies undermining what the Bible says, but the Bible is the book that has true prophecies, no false prophecies. You can't escape it. It's true, okay? So when these entities begin to uh, disagree with the Bible and undermine the Bible, I know who they are. In fact, uh, you know, I've interviewed people around the world. I've been studying this thing for years. Uh, whether they're channelers. you got about a thousand of them in Los Angeles. We used to have, I don't know how many they have now. Or read some of your New Age publications. They will admit that what the channelers, what the psychics, what the mediums say all over the world who've never been in touch with one another, there's a continuity to it. It's an amazing uh, uh, similarity, not just a similarity, but it's it really, it's coming from the same source, obviously. And there's a definite philosophy that is presented that conforms to the four lies that the serpent introduced to even the Garden of Eden. <laughs> that God is not personal, but a force, that you don't die. There's no death, you just get recycled. Reincarnation. And we're moving upward, we're evolving upward to Godhood. You can become a God, that's the lie of the serpent. And the fourth one, nothing wrong with you, it's the way you think. You need to be initiated into this knowledge, the tree of knowledge, with a dark and a light side, you know, the Star Wars force and so forth. They all say that. It's consistent. Well, that tells me who's behind it. This is the same thing that Satan said through the serpent to Eve in the garden. So I don't regard these people uh, with any respect. Unfortunately, and some of them may be sincere, uh, they have sold out to Satan because they've rejected the true God, they've rejected the Word of God. I mean, what I consider what the Bible tells me and the prophecies it gives me and the proof, for example, that Jesus is the Messiah, all that it says, centuries, thousands of years, in fact, some of them, before he came, where he would be born, even the day he would ride into Jerusalem and so forth. I mean, you cannot escape it. This is the truth. Now, anybody who then turns from this book, and we've got uh, some sincere people that I think may be real Christians in, in, the, in the charismatic world, and I'm not against uh, uh, someone believing in the power of the Holy Spirit, but the Bible is not enough for them. You know, they, if God would only give them orders every morning in neon sign across the sky, or if they could hear a voice, you know, and I, some of these people I talk to them, and they, oh, Dave, let me tell you what the Lord just told me about you. Really? Well, the Lord hasn't told me. And I'll check you out against the Bible, you know, and I'm not interested. But you say, why do people get involved in this? They want to know the future. They want to know what's going to happen to them. I mean, if you knew what was going to happen to you, what would you do? Uh, you, <clears throat> you're going to have a wreck? Are you going to try to avoid that street? Or I mean, it, it just doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. But they want somehow to get some power, some control over their lives, and they're very curious what's going to happen. Well, they're going to the wrong source to find out what's going to happen, and it has brought disaster. <laughs> I've written books about it, brought disaster into many lives. Spirit channelers and mediums from all walks of life claim contact with the spirit realm. The purpose of this contact, supposedly, is to teach mankind to achieve a higher state of consciousness through the knowledge they present. A classic example is Jay-Z Knight, a highly successful spirit channeler who channels a spirit calling itself Ramtha. Ramtha's School of Enlightenment claims to reach some 60 cities in 26 countries around the world. 
In this interview, shot in 1998, Knight explains how she came in contact with her guiding spirit. This was like an angel in my kitchen. You, do, you don't have time to react. You don't have time to, to, to rationalize this in your life. This is happening in your little kitchen. You just, I just blurted out, you're so beautiful, who are you? And he smiled, this beautiful smile lit up the whole room, and he said, I am Romtha the Enlightened One, and I've come to help you over the ditch. And I looked back up at him, and, I, and he said, Beloved daughter, he said, I have come to make you a light to the world. Equipped with a bad British accent, something that seems common among channelers, Knight gives herself over to the spirit of Ramtha. I am Ramtha the Enlightened One. I am 35,362, one and 37 seconds years old. I was born in that which is termed a great and marvelous place called Muria. And my destiny here is to teach you that which you desire to know. And to let you know that every word that I say, I will manifest for you in your life. Incredibly, throughout the interview, Ramtha and Knight repeat the central themes of the New Age movement over and over, insisting that there is no death and that man himself is a god, his only task being to realize his self-empowerment. So I must become the teacher. I must plant in your mind outrageous concepts. Here, Knight denies that Ramtha is a demon, but believes he was a man who has achieved divine status due to knowledge and experience. He's not a devil. He's not a demon. He's not a guru. He's a god. I am a teacher and a god. I'm a god because I experienced all of these things. And I am a teacher, not of truth, but of philosophy. Ramtha insists that his teaching is simple, to get people to realize the great intelligence within themselves and that they can do no wrong. It's really simple. First you have to acknowledge that you are the great intelligence and it lives in you. And your body is an extension of that intelligence. And there is no good and bad in God. That's impossible. As if echoing the voice of the serpent, Knight now directs the listener to the path to of sacred knowledge. We deserve to know the truth. And those who ask are going to be given everything, going to be given all the sacred knowledge. We are not given but one lifetime to prove what we know. This is not a test. It is an opportunity. Ramtha propagates the New Age lie that man has many opportunities to get it right through reincarnation and evolution. Years ago, I would say that I'm relatively young to many of you who have been reincarnating and slowly evolving to ask the great questions, the great mysteries, to have them revealed here. My daughter is here simply to say, you're an immortal. You are wearing this body as if you wore a garment of silk or a garment of roughly hewn wool. You are here simply to wear the garment and to live the experience, but you have never died and never will. That is not in the plan of God. Next, Knight and Ramtha deny that God is a person but insist he is a natural life force that exists in everyone. He saw what God really is. God is not a being. It is life itself. It's, it's the will of life, and it's in everything. You want to help people, and you have to live your light, and you have to be proud that you accept if God lives, he's in me, and you are a righteous man for saying so. Because if he lives in you, then he lives in everyone. Why cannot everyone share such a treasure? I love his message, Behold God. I love it that he says to us that we are divine. The journey of awakening is not through a redeemer, but when we realize we are our own redeemer. 
It is a lie, it is a lie, what the fanatics tell you. As with the rest of the movement, rejecting the gospel of Jesus Christ and the teaching of the church is essential to the message. As long as we think that some channel